let's talk about some of the companies. We've only got four. Normally we talk about five. Yeah. So let's start with Facebook because this one is the giant. This one is the most effective. And of course, remember, it's not just the Facebook app, which is operative on your computer as well as on your mobile phone, but it's also Instagram and WhatsApp. WhatsApp now is well through the 1 billion number of users and it's with Facebook Messenger, one of the key things globally that people use in order to interact with each other. Market capitalization, this one is in the big league. It's one of the largest companies in the world, so that makes Mark Zuckerberg, the founder and CEO, one of the richest men in the world. $396.8 billion. $396.8 billion. Price to earnings ratio on recent numbers, 42, not a dividend payer. Let's go straight to the chart so you can see what a successful company it's been for itself and for investors. That is pretty much at its all-time highs, and that is on the strength and on the back of just, you know, the recent and ongoing positive metrics coming from its business. Yeah, I mean, this company has 1.89 billion, or Facebook has 1.89 billion users. Active users, Active not just users. people that, like, checked it once. Exactly. So that is... That is moving towards a third of the entire world mm. um, if you look at if you look at p internet penetration rates and smartphone penetration rates this it's almost on par so, so the minute anyone gets a proper internet connection or a phone that's competent they use facebook they get facebook yes. it's kind of one of the default apps that humans must have absolutely and the nice thing is you don't even need a, a, a very good internet connection mm. for Instagram or something like snapchat you actually need a pretty fast um, internet connection but for for Facebook where you are doing your status updates and you're just kind of sharing your holiday snaps mm. uh, you don't even need to have like you didn't, don't need to have the best internet in the world yeah and yeah and it's not just of course as it was right at the beginning a matter of following only your narrow little collection yeah. of friends and family it's now become a lot looser a lot more groups a lot more corporate visibility there lots of uh, things which people check out and the algorithm has changed to be mm -hmm. displaying to you other people's updates as well as news items they think you'll be interested yeah. in so people have started using it as their default starting point in every internet session Yes, absolutely. And I mean, it's not only the Facebook platform that is that has really revolu revolutionized the way that people communicate and that, that people spend their time, but they've also got Instagram that's just absolutely fantastic, where you mm. only see these beautiful pictures come up. You only <laughs> post one every two or three days. Yeah. Um, you only look at pictures, so you don't have to look at the status updates. And there, you don't get pushed by um, sales from the junk mail yeah. or... Uh, the rest of it and then as you mentioned whatsapp which is over a billion users now the only problem with whatsapp is that they're really struggling to monetize but they've just launched whatsapp stories so yes. if you look at the bottom left corner it's started to have that sort of characteristic similar yes. to instagram stories and to one of the snapchat type applications yeah Do you snapchat. Think that's going to go well well the whatsapp stories um I, maybe I, I've actually, I only tried Instagram stories this weekend for the first time <laughs> in my entire life in preparation for the show. And it is so much fun. <laughs> and I mean, I'm, I'm 30 years old and obviously I didn't even, I was post, I was a pre-mixit um, teenager. So yeah. I didn't even grow up with all of this intense uh, social media type platforms around me. And it's so much fun. So I am sure the target demographic... Because um, it's something quite different. It's one thing yeah. to have somebody's like well-contained, artfully composed snap but, or Instagram picture. But yeah. the stories kind of have a sort of dynamic, like, look what I'm up to kind of feeling about it, which yes. is really fun for people who don't mind, who like sharing to actually be doing that sort of thing. Yeah, and it's the story thing. And then have you, d have you seen the live option where you can do a live story? No. Um, I actually went with my friend to a, a secret gin bar in Dubai two weeks ago um, because she had a live story. And you can kind of, you can comment on it and say, hey, say hi to... Um, your husband for me so or whatever. So when you say it's live, it's actually you're watching at the moment that it's being created. It's live, live, live. Mm. But then do you have to be online when you know that the person's going to do it? Yeah, so what they, what they do is they, they have push to schedule through... schedule it or something? No, they push through a notification and yeah. says, um, Chantal Marx um, is busy with a live uh, oh, story. Uh, make what, what? Quick, before you miss it. And then you kind <laughs> of have to panic and <laughs> open it and then you can be part of it. Excellent. Look, so the Instagram business model will take a little bit more time yeah. to become uh, obvious, but 
I've noticed, for example, in people's Instagram stories, they often put little corporate messages. Sometimes people like celebrities yes. are being paid or have promotional relationships. I guess you have to be a little bit careful about those. Yeah. But it is an attractive model for people who have lots of followers because they can develop their own personal brand. And this has always been the case with regard to celebrities. Yes, and the nice thing about it is that you can actually engage directly with, with, with people that you look, look up to. So, mm. um, and for celebrities, they can engage with their fans directly and it just brings a completely different dynamic to that relationship as well. Let's go back to Facebook, the core model though, mm -hmm. and just explain. It's uh, average revenue per user in developed world markets is a lot higher than in the rest of the world, but it's opportunity, you yes. would argue then, is to develop that opportunity more globally. Because the yeah. quality of ads that, for example, South African and African audiences see may not be what you'd expect would be like a very strong business model, but it's much more powerful in uh, the US where local advertisers target people that operate locally when they're interested in specific stuff yes I mean absolutely it's not just it's not just that it's also the fact that you still have um, less than uh, fully penetrated internet markets you still don't have smartphone adoption in excess of 60% yeah. in some of the more developed emerging markets so the opportunity is not only to increase average revenue per user which will likely happen over time it's also to increase the, ab the absolute number of users yeah Okay, look, as far as Facebook is concerned, is there any reason why people ought not to own it? I mean, it does have a strong management control in yeah. the hands of a very young person. But Zuckerberg is interesting. He seems particularly well grounded. He's uh, in a very good operation. He obviously delegates very mm. well. He just seems to be the perfect package. Yeah, I mean, this management team really does have a proven track record now. Um, with the IPO, they promised to to show profits within within a, within a one year. They had yeah. a very um, specific business plan that they followed to a T. So I think there's a little bit of, there's a little bit more trust now in that management team, and in particular um, in Zuckerberg. So that's not really necessarily something to be concerned about. The valuation is a little bit full. I mean, if you look at it on a forward PE basis, it's on a 25 times forward PE. Okay. And we expect growth to slow down um, as adoption kind of plateaus. Right. And it'll be a little bit slower now. It's a more mature business, but it is a, it's a fantastically well-run business. And a very good team that is yes. very sensitively developing these additional revenue models as they become apparent in all of these different properties that they own. Yeah, absolutely. So hot on this one? Yes, definitely. Absolutely. Got it.